mighty presence wherever you are preaching gospel whenever you are preaching gospel whatever you are doing for god's uh, in behalf of god our god's mm-hmm. presence is just there that should be see one or two people are gathering and they are in the midst of them praise the lord mm-hmm. promise of the lord cannot be changed let us read today book of hebrew chapter 4 verse 16 once again more praise the lord book of hebrew chapter 4 verse 16 in this bible says let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need that is what amen 8 billion people are living in this world in that 8 billion people our god is calling you and me individually come to god praise the lord hallelujah and receive the grace from the lord receive the coverage and protection from the lord through jesus christ so we can pray together to the lord right now lots of people are there they don't know the power of the god real god because of this reason in the society lots of things are going on tensions are going on praise the lord lots of disaster is going on in the society because of the lack of knowledge in the god let them come to know the real god that is in jesus christ can get that jesus christ this god can provide real peace joy and harmony in the society praise the lord mm-hmm. hallelujah so everybody god bless you thank you very much we are going to before starting this session praise the lord pastor dennis will be praying for you know revival for all over the nations a few minute time especially in african countries and all over the nations and pray for this word of god a few minute time pastor dennis can I invite you to pray amen thank you pastor jolly and to the rest of the team and the Tonight, we are glad to be upon this platform to minister, to exhort, and to teach the Word of God. Father, we thank you. We come to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, we call upon you. There is none other name that is given amongst men whereby we can be saved. It is only the name of Jesus. The Bible says tonight, that every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the lord he said i am the way the truth and the life tonight i unleash the anointing of god upon this ministry upon the servants of god and all those people that are standing together in oneness believing for great signs and wonders I believe you're going to use your servant tonight even as he will bring forth your word. I pray that you'll open the flood gates of heaven and Lord pour it out touch him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Bless this ministry. Father everyone that he heard the word. Father they will have a breakthrough tonight. You said my word shall go forth and not return unto me void. Your word is more sharper than a two-edged sword that can cut asunder every evil forces. Father, I bring those people that are unwell, sick in the body, people that don't know Jesus. Tonight they will get to know you. And Lord, they will repent from their wicked ways and they will seek the face of Jesus Christ. Father, tonight I pray for the presence of the Holy Spirit. Lord during the cause of this meeting that will minister to every heart that is bowed before you father bless every other servants every other team players that have come so boldly father to give you praise tonight i want to thank you for the set man of the house pastor jolly laser lord i pray that you'll use him for the days to come anoint him lord i pray for a double portion of your blessings anointing upon his life tonight even as we wait upon you father that we will listen let our mindset be upon you let it not wither away neither wander away but to be intact as the spirit of god will bring 
the prophetic word, the revelation of the gospel of Jesus Christ that the world needs to know tonight. Bless, Lord. Bless the prophet. Anoint him and use him tonight. In Jesus' mighty and holy name, I ask his mercies. Amen and amen. Bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, God, but this is the time to hear this word of God right now. So, this is a wonderful time. May our God touch lots of souls. <laughs> Give the anointing and power and heal the sick people right now. Praise the Lord. Lots of healing will happen. Praise the Lord. So, we can pray to the Lord. Let our God <laughs> heal the people. Praise the Lord. Amen. See the life healing where our people are watching in your body. Praise the Lord. Yes. So, this God can do it. Our God is a miracle Lord. So, Shake the Nets in the UK. Very happy to invite um, uh, Pastor Prophet Daniel uh, from Kanam will be sharing this wonderful message. This mighty powerful gospel message to everybody. Praise the Lord. Not only one nation. Uh, people are not only people are in Africa, but people are in the UK, Europe, in Africa, North and South America, nation countries, all over the nations are watching this video. Praise the Lord. Can you share Amen. this video in your Facebook and social media? We can pray to the Lord. Come and uh, do something in our life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God bless you. So Sheikh the Nation UK is very happy to invite Prophet Daniel to share this word of God to the nations. God bless you. Prophet. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for everybody watching us live in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray and I send a healing unto everybody that is watching. Anybody that is having a sickness, having a problem in the system, in the name of Jesus, may he be loose now in the name of Jesus. I come against it in the name of Jesus by the Lord of hosts. When the Lord of hosts speak, there is no other spirit because the spirit of the Lord knows your foundation before any demonic family or test of your house came. So this means that the spirit of Elohim can direct and can help. And I believe in Dr. Jesus that he is the Lord that helps. In the name of Jesus, you are healed wherever you are. I pray and I release a prophetic declaration and the healing and presence upon your life in the name of Jesus. I send the angel of Achenja Rafa onto your heart. It's responsible for healing. It's coming to heal you now. Whilst you're watching, you are healed now in the name of Jesus. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Be set free in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May he cover you. May he immerse you into thy pool of his blood. As you are watching, you'll be blessed. At the end of this session, you will testify in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wow. Well, today's Bible sermon will be taken from 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1 to 7. It said, Then the creditor came after the prophet died and was unable to pay the debt. They were to attack the two sons to be born men. So the widow of the prophet's wife ran to prophet Elisa. He said, Oh, prophet, my husband is dead. And they are to attack my two sons to be bondmen. And the prophet said, yes, I know. But what should I do for you? What do you have in the house? Today I am speaking about creating a platform for the Lord to look on it to multiply your handiwork. Creating a platform for the Lord to look through it and multiply your handiwork. Creating a platform for the Lord to look through it and multiply your handiwork. The prophet Elisha asked the woman, what do you have in the house? Yes, I want you to know how it works. And the woman said, yes, sir. And prophet Elisha said, what do you mean by yes, sir? I said, what do you have in the house? And the woman said, oh, your handmaid have nothing in the house except a little safe pot of what? Oil. And the man of God said, yes, that is where God will work a miracle. So look at how God did a miracle. The man of God told the woman to go and borrow an empty vessels. 
when you borrow the empty vessel, the little pot of sip of oil she has there, she should pour that oil into that, uh, that empty vessels or the empty tanks. And he borrowed it and he did according to what the prophet says. This means that I want you to know how it works. If God created you in his own image, God is creative. So if God created you in his own image, then God created you to also be creative. Yes, I want you to know how it works. God is a creative man. First day he did this, second day he created this, third day he created this, fourth day he created this, fifth day he created this, sixth day he created this, seventh day, and he rested. Yes, I want you to know how it works. And when the woman did according to what the prophet Elijah showed her that when he borrowed the empty vessel, he should pour the oil, little oil into them all and shut the door upon her and her, do her sons. And the outcome of the what came out was the oil all became full in the empty vessels. The oil all became full in the empty vessels. I want you to know how God can work miracle in your life. So create something, do something for the Lord to look through and multiply your handiwork. Yes. When God come around and see you not working, all the only, the only excuse you say is, I, 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 I don't have nobody helping me. I don't have a job. No, don't look for a job. Create one for yourself. Create one. I want you to know how it works. So when the woman did according to what Prophet Elisha said, the woman went back to tell Prophet Elisha that this is the outcome, man of God. This is the outcome of what it came. The oil all became full of the time. He even called the son that he should bring another empty vessel. And the son told the mother that there is no empty vessel. And the oil stayed in the name of Jesus. And when he told Prophet Elisha, Prophet Elisha said, go and sell the oil. And the rest that were left, eat it with your children and pay the debt. Oh, hallelujah. We serve a living God. We serve a miracle and a living God in the name of Jesus. Today, I want you to know how it works. Create something, do something. If God come around and see you not doing anything, don't give this excuse that I, I, I'm not having anybody helping me and I'm looking for a job. No, don't look for a job. Create one for yourself. Yes, I want you to know how it works. Oh, amen. Can I hear them, somebody? Let's look at something in Isaiah. 38 verse 1 going. Isaiah 38 verse 1 going. It is this same creating a platform I want you to look. Isaiah 38 verse 1 going. And a day is come that King Hezekiah was deadly ill. King Hezekiah was very deadly ill. God's sons, God sent prophet Isaiah's son Amos to go and tell Hezekiah that, that is sickness. He should arrange all his faring, all his things in an order because he's going to die and he's not going to live. So he should arrange all his things in ten order because he's going to die in his sickness. And know what uh, Hezekiah did? Hezekiah said, God, remember, 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 oh Lord, for how I have served you with a single-minded, have walked in the light of you, Jesus Christ. And know what God did? God saw it because prophet Hezekiah, he turned his face to a wall and he cried, weep bitterly, bitterly. He was weeping bitterly. Remember, oh Lord, for I have served you single-minded. <laughs> if God is to be able to stand on Hezekiah that remember, oh Lord, even when you kill me, the Assyrians and the Philistines will laugh at me. There is no God. Yes, I want you to know how it works. And when Hezekiah was being able to say this, the Lord heard Hezekiah and told Amos that, hey, Amos, I am that I am. That said the Lord of hosts, return back. Go back to Hezekiah. Tell Hezekiah that I, the Lord, said the Lord, said the Lord, I have heard Hezekiah cry and his prayer. So he won't die no more. But I have multiplied him with 15 years. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't know today, whatever your age is, if you are to die at the age of 80 years, 
you are to die at the age of 70 years. May God multiply it 15 years in the name of Jesus. May God multiply it 15 years in the name of Jesus. Now any weapon that form against you will never prosper in the name of Jesus. If you are to die at the age of 90 years, may God multiply it 15 years in the name of Jesus. Yes. I want you to know how it works. So there must be something. God is always looking for a point of contact. God is looking for a platform. If there is no platform for Hezekiah to create, Lord, remember, I have served you. Single-minded, I've walked in the light of you, Jesus Christ. And God is to watch this and say, you won't die no more. I've rather multiply your age with 15 years. This means Ezekiel has served God with a perfect heart, with a clean heart. People of God, what are you doing? Let's supply Jesus with a perfect and a clean heart. For one day that we are about to die or we are about to enter into temptation, Jesus Christ can remember that covenant between I and all, between you and him, for, to forgive you your sin. And Ezekiel lived. And Ezekiel didn't die no more. Today, may the Lord help you. May the Lord be with you. May he help you and help you to the extent that you can understand the love of God. You can create something for yourself for the Lord to look through it and multiply it or for the Lord to look through it and give you more internal life. There must be something. Ezekiel created a platform. God is always seeking for platform. There must be point of contact. Can I hear them, somebody? Hallelujah. Today you are going to be blessed in the name of Jesus. Whatever the situation you are going inside, the Lord knows it. And the Lord is going to end your tears and your cry. See somebody watching, the Lord is coming to change your tears. Don't worry, the weeping will be end. I see the Lord is opening marriage doors for some of you in the name of Jesus. This year is going to be your year of greater works. Greater works in the name of Jesus. Science and wonders is going to follow you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, let's look at something in Matthew. Matthew 13, verse 1 to 8. Matthew 13, verse 1 to 8. Matthew 13, verse 1 to 8. Yes, the Bible says, let's read from the three. Time, if the time is not there, when you do, you read it yourself at home. Let's read from three going. The Bible says, A sower went forth to sow a seed. Some of the seed fell at the wayside, and some of the seed also fell in the stony places. And the Bible said, it, this is a parable. The Lord is telling me to tell you and explain the parable words to you, to your hearing and your understanding. And the seed that fell at the wayside, fowls came to devour all the seed away. This means it didn't have no root or no much earth. So fowls came to devour all the seed away. And I'll come there to explain it in the parables. For you to understand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I hear them somebody? And the Bible said. Another seed also fell in the stony places. Another seed fell in the stony places. And when the sun also scorched. They sprang up. And was not being able. So they, also, they didn't have enough earth. Or enough food. So they also waited away. And some of the seed also fell. In the tongue's area. And the tongue sprang up and choked it. And Bible says, some of the seed fell in the good ground. And the Lord said, these are the people. When they hear the word of God, they understand. And they bear more fruit. The seed that fell at the wayside, Jesus Christ said, these are the people when the word, word of God is coming. Satanic will never allow them. For them to hear the word of God, for them to hear and follow the word of God, through the word of God, they might have internal life. They might prosper in life. So the devil will worry them for them to what? Leave the word of God away. And the Bible says, the seed that fell in the stony areas are people when they hear the word of God, they receive it deeply into the heart. But when they enter into a little problem or into any situation, then they let the word of God away from their heart. And the Bible said some of the seed also fell in the thorns area. 
And these are the people, when they hear the word of God, they also received it happily into their heart. But when finances, financial problem catches them, what things catches them some more or press them or press them some more, they also what? let the word of God away. But the Bible says, a seed that so in a good ground, these are the people, they hear the word of God. They really understand the word of God. They do according to the word of God. And Jesus Christ said, these people, they bear what good fruit. Some of 60 fold, 100 fold and 30 fold. These are the people, they prosper always in life. They have eternal life. They live long because they have hidden the word of God in their heart. Today, what are you doing? Are you at the side of a seed that fell in a good ground or you be a seed falling on the wayside for a fast to come to deal for them? For Satan to take it from your heart. Or you are being the seed that fell in a good ground for you to bear a good seed for you to bear good fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. So the day Jesus Christ has given everybody work to do, you must do the work wholeheartedly. When you read on Corinthians chapter 3, verse 23, it says, and whatsoever you do, do it wholeheartedly as to the Lord and not unto men. As you are listening to me now, don't listen for listening sake. Do it like you are listening it and doing the will of the Lord as what you are doing for Christ Jesus. So that the day come, Jesus Christ come. A second coming, you might have, have eternal life. Can I hear them, somebody? Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. May Jesus help you. May Jesus help you to be able to understand his word and thus according to his word. In the name of Jesus Christ. May Jesus Christ help you to understand his word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Malisi bri ak wan debe igi wen debe la branda basun debe ki zan debe ran papa duan debe in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord help you to be able to understand His word and thus according to His word in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, don't let what things be something. Don't look for the world things according to Matthew six verse thirty three. He says, seek the kingdom of God first. And all ye things shall be added unto you. Let's look for Jesus first. Create a platform. Create a platform. Look for Jesus first. And when you look for Jesus first, all the things, the natural, physical things you are looking for, physical, worldly things you're looking for, will be added unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear them, somebody? Yes, will be added to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to tell you something. If there is something, some more little handiwork you can do, if it is water you can sell, sell it and sell it all. For the Lord will multiply it for you in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, don't, don't always put your mind concept on human being that human being can help you. There is no human being that can help you. It is only God that can help you. For, for the mention of the name Jesus, Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 10, it said, and God elevated Jesus Christ unto a higher place and honor him. So this means that there is only God, it's only God that can what, elevate you in life and can honor you. If God having honor you, there is nobody. When God elevated Jesus Christ on a higher place and honor him, he gave him a name that is above all name. The mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Now, now listen, let's see something on Luke chapter 9, verse 35. Luke 9, 35. It said, after the Holy Ghost, a voice descended from heaven. There is my beloved son, so hear him. There is my beloved son, so hear him. Yes, this means that the Lord has to bring your yes, bring your name into the destiny helpers. Bring your names into your destiny helpers for them to start hearing of you. If the Lord hasn't bring your name into your destiny helpers, they can't hear you. You understand? The Lord has to bring your name to your destiny helpers before they can help you. So when you create a platform and you worship the Lord well, 
the Lord will bring your name into your destiny helpers. That is why a Bilonia can come and sit with you and eat with you. But the Bilonia will go and will never help you. Another Bilonia also will come into your life. What the Bilonia will ask you is that. What do you want me to do for you? Tell me and I will do it for you. What do you want me to do for you? Another Bilonia will also come and sit with you as a woman who go out with you and will ask you, are you single so I can mingle or marry you? This means that the anointing is speaking. The Lord has spoke your name into the years of the destiny helper. So may we all seek the Lord first. Create a platform for the Lord to also look at your hard work to also multiply something for you in the name of Jesus. Can I hear them, somebody? Today I'm bringing my sermon to an end. May the grace of the Lord be with you all in the name of Jesus. May the blessings that Jesus Christ is the only person that can bless. May he bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. May he bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. The mention of your name. Today, the Lord has given you a different name. As you have joined this session, the Lord has given you a name. That the mention of your name, every demonic family altars of your house will start breaking, will start removing in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, some of you today, I am seeing that some, some chains is breaking in your house. According to Daniel chapter 2, verse 21, it said, I am the God that removes kings and raises kings. I am the God that changes time and season. Today, may the Lord change your time and season in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, if you are going to serve God willingly from your heart, you are going to serve him all, then the Lord is changing your time and season in the name of Jesus. He said, I am the God that gives wisdom and knowledge to the wise. May the Lord give you wisdom and knowledge for you to understand the word of God, for you to understand everything, for you to understand everything so you can move willingly in life, in the name of Jesus, in everything you will succeed. According to Acts, Acts chapter 10, verse 38, it said Jesus Christ, God was anointed Jesus Christ. When God anointed Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was being able to what? walk in the whole wide world. And because of the anointing Jesus Christ, God anointed Jesus Christ. He was being able to succeed in everything. Yes, he was being able to succeed in everything. Today, may the Lord help you to succeed in everything. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'll bring my sermon to an end. May the grace of the Lord be with you all. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the grace of the Lord be with you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed. May the word stay in your heart to be the word, to be the seed that for in a good ground, for you to understand the word of God and you do according to the word of God. May the Lord bless you. May the good Lord protect you in the name of Jesus Christ. May he immerse you into the pool of his blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, in Jesus' mighty name, I am Daniel Donko, Facebook. I am Daniel Donko, known as Prophet King Daniel. I am Daniel Donko, in the name of Jesus Christ. May he be blessed. Amen. So, this is what, okay. Thank you for the um, word of God. Pastor Daniel, Prophet Daniel, God bless you. Okay. It was a prophet word preaching. Um, it was a powerful word of God. Preaching Second Kings chapter four, verses one, two, um, three, and four. I'm preaching here. What um, in this event? The Elisha. What Elisha has done? The miracle. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Second thing, Pastor was talking about. Praise the Lord. Uh, book of Isaiah, chapter thirty-eight, verses one onwards. The miracle. Our God. If our God give him punishment. Our God can withdraw his punishment, praise the Lord, because of our prayer. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The third thing Pastor was uh, talking about, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Book of Matthew, um, chapter 13, where it is one not words. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what, okay. So, um, Jesus Christ was preaching the gospel in parables. Praise the Lord. The sober sword, the seed, and ever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, uh, 
finally um fast was talking book of louis chapter 9 verse 30 35 praise the lord hallelujah that means the voice from the heaven that is uh, this is my son chosen here praise the lord uh, this son this is okay so this is okay so each and every people you know uh, this was a powerful word of god our god if our god is giving any thank you we can give wonderful type to jesus christ because of his powerful word of god praise the lord hallelujah i was making the notes so that okay it was a powerful word of god so uh, this is what okay if our god is giving any punishment our god if you are ready to repent our god will remember the work which you have done for god praise the lord so our god can able to withdraw his punishment yes praise the lord yes. from you because our god is a god of compassion our god That is, is god of mercy praise the lord hallelujah this That's is what when you are um um uh, when you are um uh, this is okay when you are reading the old testament praise the lord we can see that one uh, abraham abraham you know that one when our god went to destroy the sodom and gomorrah praise the lord abraham he was praying to the god so our god again our god you know that one god could not be able to see any of the righteousness in that place praise the lord only one lot praise the lord so our god destroyed that place but our god was hearing the abraham's prayer praise the lord hallelujah so gave lots of chances to abraham praise the lord abraham could not find the the righteous people over there even 10 number of people also abraham could not able to find our still our god can heal your sickness still our god can raise you from the dead to the life still our god can cancel the medical signs in the paper whatever god the medical signs said you know that one maybe you will get die or whatever praise the lord our god can cancel that one our god can extend the life for you maybe under 15 years maybe under 20 years maybe under 40 years praise the lord hallelujah this is what pastor was saying when the time of preaching first seek his kingdom this is what the pastor was saying prophet daniel was saying seek his kingdom later on everything will be adding for you one by one praise the lord hallelujah so we can pray to the lord right now for this wonderful time praise the lord so our god is a god of compassion did lots of miracle because of the compassion of the lord in the new testament you know that one book of the gospel john chapter 5 praise the lord and our god did miracle um book of matthew chapter 8 with the leper received the healing centurion servant received the healing praise the lord our god multiplied the food and gave because of the compassion of the lord uh book of uh, john chapter 6 our god multiplied the food praise the lord to the 5000 people this and all happened the five, our god's compassion so everybody today this is a end time gospel revival everybody our god want you and, you and me to come back to the lord and receive the presence of the lord i'm not praying the closing pastor dennis will be praying for the sick and everybody and closing this session praise the lord pastor uh, prophet dennis it was a wonderful um, the anointed message may our god bless you more and more in jesus name bless you and and uh, the country of ghana and all the african countries in jesus name amen just i want to invite pastor dennis to pray for the sick people in few minute time and pray and cross this section praise the lord pastor dennis you can admit your audio and say again and again yeah can admit your audio father we thank you as your word has been given to each and every one of us as you've touched your servant tonight the anointing of god was great upon his life father this this word will not return unto you void but accomplish itself in the hearts and the lives of people father tonight i also bring your servant lord pastor jolly and this platform shake the nation father i pray that you'll bless the set man of the house in everything that he does to promote the kingdom of god and nobody can change that what you have implanted in your son's life is going to accomplish great and mighty works 
Tonight I bring all those people that are unwell, sick in their bodies, whatever sickness, whether it be kidneys, whether it be a heart, whether it be liver condition, whatever condition it is, brain, eye, you're going to restore healing. Even as they will believe that you are the miracle worker, you're going to use your servant. Tonight, Father, when people shall say, I've been touched, I've been healed, I've been set free by the miraculous word of Jesus Christ. Father, you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. What you did in the days of old, you can do now. Hallelujah. Father, bless this ministry. Bless this platform. Bless all the servants of God, people, the children of God that are partaking. Father, from this platform, Lord, let this platform grow from day to day, month to month, year to year, generation to generation. And whatever the financial needs are, Father, you're going to bless it. You're going to make all provision. Father, we are here to build up the kingdom of heaven. Preach the gospel. Save precious souls for your kingdom. Those of us that are weak, make us strong. That we will not fall on the wayside, but carry our cross and follow you daily, daily. Father, miracle days are not over. It is much more greater now because you have imparted this great anointing upon your servants. You say, lay your hands upon the sick and they shall recover. No matter what the sickness is tonight, we claim victory, healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your children have a breakthrough tonight as they have listened to the word. Your word, Lord, you sent your word and healed all diseases. Tonight we appreciate you, Daddy God. We bless you. Bless this platform. And also, as we have come to a close tonight, now may the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the sweet communion, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with each one of us now until we meet again. And everyone said, Amen. 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 God bless you, Pastor Jolly. Thank you very much. It was a wonderful and blessed session. And so God bless you. Pastor Dennis, God bless you. Mayor, God bless you more and more. Amen. Prophet Daniel, God bless you more and more in Jesus' name. As, we, as I said, every Sunday, people are watching you online. Mayor, God bless you more and more. Okay. So every Sunday, mm -hmm. every Sunday we have meeting physically, as well as I'm preaching the gospel in preach also, preaching the gospel in the street also. Mm -hmm. Every Monday we have rebel meeting at 3.30 p.m. Indian um, UK time. Uh, 9.30 p.m. Indian time, 5.30 p.m. South Africa time. Praise Lord. Mm -hmm. And every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it is 4 p.m. UK time, and uh, uh, 9.30 p.m. Indian time, 6 p.m. South Africa. Praise the Lord. So, Wednesday is a English Bible study. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Friday, 3.30 p.m. And Saturday, we have in the night, especially that session we are taking for uh, revival of um, North and South America and Australia and Canada. Praise the Lord. And USA, Hello. Australia and Canada. Because 11.30 p.m. You look at time. Praise the Lord. To your life. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So God bless you, everybody. Anyone want to like to join? Most people can join in Zoom. Praise the Lord. We can send personal, some details personally. Praise the Lord. So may yeah. God bless everybody. More and more in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen.